Hi everyone, I'm Mike. I'm an artist based in the UK and I sell my paintings, both originals and prints, all over the world. Every Sunday I publish a video and that can involve animals, people, portraits, landscapes, and I paint in quite a wide range of media as well, including acrylic, interactive acrylic, watercolour, watercolour markers, sharpie pens, and sometimes I just combine all of those together. Okay, well the painting's pretty much dry, it's not quite there, but uh, I want to get going. So I've zoomed right out on my reference again, and what I'm going to do is just put in some key lines where I feel it's necessary. So this is a mixture of the burnt umber and the uh, ultramarine blue. So it's dark shadow colour. So as well as the line work, I can enhance some of the shadows where I feel it's necessary. But the, um, the main thing I want to do is just really, you know, add a, just a little bit of drawing. Where it's going to help to describe a little bit more clearly what's going on with this hen. So that's probably sufficient for the moment, I think. What I'm going to do now is take a similar approach, similar approach with the, the light blue and the pure white speckles. All right, so next I've mixed up kind of a dirty blue, I guess. It's, a, it's mostly ultramarine and white, but I've added a bit of the burnt umber. And again, I'm coming in with the filbert, but I'm still looking at the big shapes. And the reason I'm using the filbert now at this later stage, rather than the large brush, even though I'm looking at big shapes, is because I don't want to obscure completely some of those nice green and cobalt blue highlights that I've put down. So I'm hoping to get a nice balance between texture and pattern and colour, but still keep the structure of this bird fairly clear. So I'm going to add a bit more of the titanium white to the mixture. And we can put some of that on the end of the tail here. Again, I'm still very uh, mindful of the direction of the brush strokes that I'm putting down. And now we'll go to some pure titanium white. So for the most part, I've avoided using that so far in the painting. Um, and I've been kind of saving it for this later stage so that we can really make 
some of these highlights pop in comparison to the more subdued colours that I've used for the most part so far. And then I can add just a touch of the cobalt blue to that same patch of white that I've got on the palette. And we'll add some still fairly bright highlights, but they are more subdued than the ones I just put down. couple of little touches on the beak as well. <laughs> 